In this episode, we're going to take you through planting of hybrid willow cuttings. And these that we're going to be sharing with you are rooted to basically sturdy up banks and uh, minimize erosion. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Hey, if you like what these two dumbasses are doing, please hit the like button and subscribe today. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. My wife Ruth and I, as mentioned earlier, we're going to be planting some uh, hybrid willow cuttings that we got from the state nursery. Lots of different types of uh, willow cuttings out there. Uh, so do your research on that. But these are hybrid known for uh, establishing root bases and, grow and fast growth. With that, uh, probably could be some invasiveness with that. So make sure wherever you're going to put them, it's right where you want to put them because otherwise you're setting yourself up for a lot of maintenance. What we're going to do today is we've got two or three areas that uh, we have some erosion issues and what we're going to try to do is shore up shore up those banks so that uh, we can minimize or prevent in erosion in the future. So uh, stay tuned. I hope this helps you. So our first area right here, you see I've got some erosion, I've got some I've got some uh, walnuts that are growing in through here, but this hole continues to degrade and it goes right up to my pond. And so what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna put a quite a few, quite a few uh, of these hybrids in here and see if we can shore up this and prevent this from growing. Two, three years, this will be really overgrown with uh, willows, but it's, it's something I've gotta get done. You can see there's it's quite an erosion problem. I've thrown some stuff down here, it slowed it down, but we need to do more. Example of what these uh, rooted willows look like. You got some leaves that are starting to pop up. But the nice thing about these is, is you see how these root growth, they're gonna come in and rapidly expand into the soil and start to shore that up. But planting them, I mean, that's a pretty big hole you're planting this. So the nice thing about this is, is we can you can trim these up, make the hole a lot smaller, and uh, embed them in, and we'll be good to go. So we've got a couple of tools that you can use that uh, uh, I'm going to say is dumbass approved. This first thing's what's called a dibble stick. You see it's got a spade handle. You basically, I'll demonstrate this here a little bit, uh, but it's super slick for planting uh, young trees, uh, bare root young trees. And then I've used this before. It's just a drill with a blade with a blade bit and you just drill right in and then you push your your cutting in there and and uh, we're good to go we'll see it, see if this is going to be able to work with some of these big roots but uh, both of these are can work really slick you can see how deep this is I'm up to my over my waist Now my first casualty, I got a tick growing on me, crawling on me right now. Little bastards. <laughs> anyway, the nice thing is, you see these roots, this has been a whole lot easier than I thought. Yes, yeah, the soils are super soft, so I'm just folding this root right into the soil and pushing it in. See if I can show you, there's one example right there. Um, I'll do another one right over here. And that one's in. So on my second spot to where I'm going to put some of these willows. And you'll see, hey, I don't have a lot of erosion here, but this bank, this bank, or this uh, watershed right through here, it can get to be about 30 foot wide in a hurry if I get a big downpour. So this is the other part of the other side of the creek crossing. You see quite a bit of drop. I've put 1,200 pounds of concrete, a lot of posts in here. Uh, I'm not sure even that's going to be enough. We'll see. This is my third attempt at this. But you can see on that bank and the force of it washing all that concrete downstream. So we're going to try to put some of these willows in here and shore this up and see, see if that has a big effect. That's, that's our goal.
just a follow-up quick short from a time where I had a big erosion problem coming through here and it would wash all down this hill and I put in a silt fence here as a temporary fix been here for two years I wanted all this grass to get take hold and all this vegetation so we would stop this this uh, erosion and you can see it's done its job there's as we're pulling this fence up you can see that there is a lot of dirt that it stopped and it and as we're pulling this up it's going to filter into this grass and we all should be good so again just a little proof that this does work it's memorial weekend we just finished uh wrapping up those hybrid willows took us gosh we planted 50 trees took us about 40 minutes so really really not too bad we we ended up using a drill for a couple of them but for the most part, on these banks, the soil was so soft, we were able to just push them, push them in and then trim the roots accordingly. Um, I'll post a little bit later an update on that. I also posted at the end of this video um, an update on a silt fence that I put in two years ago. We had posted a video on how to set up a silt fence in one of our prior episodes. Well, anyway, this is one that had been in place for over two years, and you're going to see uh, how that silt fence has a dramatic impact. So, a couple things we're attacking on uh, erosion. We've got silt fences, and now we're using hybrid, hybrid uh, willows. Hope this is helpful for you guys and gals that, uh, that, that see, these, see these episodes. But until next time, be safe, have fun, and get outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.